oversee the execution, Bhagat Singh told the British magistrate that you have the privilege to see how an Indian patriot goes to gallows, all smiling and happy. Finally, they were put on the scaffold. They took the news themselves and tightened it. The three kissed the rope. The hangman pulled the ropes one by one and kicked the rafters. For a long time, the bodies remained hanging. Finally, they were brought down and were declared dead. Hundreds of people had kept vigil outside the jail. It became a big problem for the British to deliver the three dead bodies. They dropped the idea of cremating the bodies inside the jail. Finally, they broke open part of the rear wall of the jail and carried the bodies of the three martyrs to the banks of the river Ravi. However, the situation was not so conducive. The British had to escort the truck to River Sutlej near Firozpur. They had just set the bodies aflame when they were discovered by the nearby villagers. Seeing the crowd from Ganda Singhwala village advancing towards them, they all fled in a hurry, leaving the half-cremated bodies. Very soon, Bhagat Singh's sister, Amar Kaur, and Lala Lajpat Rai's daughter, Parvati Bai, with hundreds of people, reached the spot in the middle of the night. The news spread like wildfire in Lahore and other cities of Punjab. Young men took out processions shouting Inqilab Zindabad, Bhagat Singh Zindabad. Next day, a three mile long procession started from Neel Gumbad, shouting slogans and raising black flags. The procession brought the bodies to River Ravi, where the three were cremated. People cried incessantly as the flames engulfed the three martyrs. And with that, the epitaph of British rule was written. Some 16 years after their sacrifice, the last British soldier left the Indian soil on 15th August 1947. Jai Hind!